Hello and welcome to the OC Varsity Gridiron Show. I am your host, Jonathan Camus. I am standing next to a very cold and shivering Steve Fryer. I'm fine. I'm dressed in layers. I'm good. Yeah, we're here at Orange Coast College for the all-county photo shoot reveal. We can't reveal it just yet, guys. But they're over there. Yeah, they're over there. Uh, or maybe they're not. Who knows? Dan Albano, how are you? Excellent. This is exciting. Thank you to Orange Coast College and Coach Emerson for uh, letting us use the stadium here tonight. Big shout out. All right, so this is the final week. We're talking about the state playoffs. We might have a recap show next week. We'll see. We'll see. If you guys want it, we'll do it because we love the fans. All right, state championship game, guys. The first game we'll talk about is in division. Uh, which one is this? One double A. All right, where Mission V Hill will take on Bellarmine of San Jose up at Sacramento State Friday night at 8 p.m. Dan Albano making the trek. Uh, make sure you fill up on your gas there, Dan. I'm flying and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, see if Mission V Hill can cap. You know, a 16 and 0 season. I mean, they're 15 and 0. Uh, played a great Helix team that uh, Mr. Fryer saw. I saw those highlights that you uh, you rolled, man. That running back uh, Stinson was um uh, very impressive. I mean, Mission Viejo. I mean, continues to uh, you know uh, come through when it matters and just keeps winning on. They've got some injuries they're dealing with, like everybody is this time of year. But you know, this is a big one for. Uh, for uh, Mission Viejo to try to finish off 16 and 0, you know, obviously never been done before for the Diablos. Should have known better. Dan doesn't drive. He he flies first class. Yeah. All right, uh, Steve. Get those little bags of peanuts. Oh yeah, the, the best. All right, uh, Steve. We were at the game as Dan mentioned. Mission Viejo beat Helix 32 28. Kind of uh, unthinkable. Stinson after having a phenomenal game. Uh, Fumbles the ball, and that leads the way to a Diablos victory. Colin Schooler, how good was he? 160 yards rushing, and Brock Johnson had a couple touchdown passes, including two bombs. The kid has an arm. Um, first appearance in the state final for Mission Viejo. you got to believe they're excited. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, talking to Coach Bob Johnson before the game, uh, he was talking, he was, you know, he thought that this team could you know keep it going coach johnson thought that the personality of his team was such that they'd be hungry for more and 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 there's some really good camaraderie on that team they all they all you know like being around each other the coaches like being around the kids the kids like being around the coaches so when you have that you still have a team that's that's hungry for more the diablos were in uncharted territory in the fourth quarter they were down and they came back and won so you better believe they want that state championship transitioning now guys to the division 5h state championship game where saint bernard's of eureka california they are 13 and 1 taking on saddleback valley christian this game is again at laguna hills so another home game for SVC Saturday night, 6 o'clock. Guys, SVC beat Kennedy of Delano last week, 59-45. Dan, you were there. Yeah, I'm really glad I went and uh, checked out SVC. The Warriors play a, a really fun brand of football. Uh, they're really good, fellas. I mean, they got a great offense. Um, David Molina is a, a very exciting player. You know, a lot of these guys are two-way players, but he's way up there. David Molina had a great game. He ran for a couple touchdowns late in that game to seal it. It was 45-45. Uh, with about six minutes left in the uh, fourth quarter, and then a couple of Molina touchdown runs. Um, and then, you know, they have a, a junior, a very promising junior prospect, uh, Swaggy V. I don't know if I've gotten it right. Swaggy V. Cravens, oh, junior. Okay. He's Sue Cravens' uh, brother, and he's an outstanding receiver. He is. Uh, he is out. He is big time. He made a uh, about a 65-yard touchdown run where he made a bunch of guys miss. He's real athletic, and uh, he can run it. He can go jump up and catch the ball. But he's he looks like a Division One prospect to me. Cravens had 207 yards receiving in that game. On the other side, Steve St. Bernard's beat Fall River last week, 55 to nothing. A shutout victory this late in the game. I mean, that yeah. tells you something. Junior quarterback uh, Jack Rice had seven touchdown passes and five to five different receivers, including two sophomores. Um, if the way this game looks like on paper, Steve, the scoreboard might blow up with all these points. Yeah, definitely. They, they uh, Saddleback Valley Christian might outscore their basketball team. And they've got a real good basketball team. So it's pretty interesting to me that you see that these kind of scores uh, uh, these days a lot in, in football in the playoffs. We've seen. I remember the uh, the Bosco uh, Centeno game. What sixty something to fifty something, Dan? Fifty two. Yeah. yeah. And then you know I, I was I covered La Habra against Cam, uh, Cabrillo, and uh, that was another you know high scoring game. I think it was like uh, 
50 I don't even I mean that was it was way out there it 50 broke Ralph Lawler's law yeah yeah and so you know we, we see these a lot in the in the small schools sometimes too you know Saddleback Valley Christian used to win that with that A11 offense a couple years ago and you know Brendan Chambers you know was a big time throwing quarterback over there and he's got Saddleback Valley Christian with Hengem all those guys uh, throwing the ball really well our thanks to Steve Fryer and Dan Albano for all your latest state championship information check out ocvarsity.com all weekend where we've got you covered.